everyone, um, so I have not done a new video for over, like, I think two months now, and so I decided that I was going to do one for you today just because I'm overdue and I am trying to get more videos out, you know, so I'm going to start off by doing kind of like neutral-ish every day. Um, I have a few crazy ones I'm going to throw in there, but, um, as for right now, this is what I'm going to do. So today, I'm just going to do this plum, like a plum brown kind of a look, and it's just, it's very wearable, very easy, um, and, like, it's, it's just simple. And the colors I'm going to be using today are from my, oops, I'm dropping stuff, hold on, <laughs> sorry. Dropping everything is from my Jessie LaBelle palette. And I think you can get these at Ulta. This one's an older one. So, yeah. But the colors I'm going to be using, you can see it here. I used this one in my inner corner. This is my highlight. I used a little bit of these three for the for um, the regular lid. Um, these are in the crease and also with this color to make it just a little bit purpley. Purple. I love purple. I think pink's my favorite color, but purple's good for you know, look like this, um, <laughs> so weird, haven't done a video in so long, so I already put base on, and it is the Skin Tone Base from NYX, I also, they have two other ones too, I have. um, oh, I'm also going to be throwing this in the crease too, it's kind of similar to, like, just a soft brown, just to kind of contour the crease a little bit. But, alright, let's get started. So I'm going to take a medium shade brush, and I'm going to go in with that corner, that color right here, in the corner. And I am just going to figure out where I'm going to put my mirror. Um, just going to hold it, I guess. So I'm just going to put it, if you can see it, right here. Right here. Kind of do it lightly. You don't want to too much. And then bring it in on the lower lash line. And dust, dust off your brush. And you use the same brush. Excuse me, one minute. Okay, goodness. Use one brush, and I'm going to mix this color, and this color, and this color all together to make my lid color. So, it's on there. And I'm just going to brush it on to the lid. Get a little bit more. off that brush and I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm going to take those three colors again and I'm just going to smudge it under the lash line on my bottom lashes. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to take a fluffy <coughs> blending tapered crease brush and I'm going to go in with the soft brown color. I'm actually going to mix it with another brown. It's kind of a, on the pinky side. But I'm going to put that down first. And I'm going to put this in the crease. And this just creates depth for your eyes. You don't want to be too boring. And like one dimensional, you want to have dimension in your eye. That's very important. Blending. Sorry if my mirror's in the way. I'm just blending it all out. Okay, and then I'm going to take this is a round contour brush. It just looks like this. And I'm going to mix these two colors together. I 
and then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to do the outer corner here and make my little my little line, my V-shape, and then I'm going to start blending it into the crease. Very simple. I mean, this doesn't take you that long at all. Um, I just wanted to do come back with something simple that you guys can do. You can wear this for with anything. Like this will go with whatever you want it to go with. Um, it's a good everyday look for work or just you know for wearing it on an everyday basis. And then I'm just going to take the darker color, and I'll show you, it's this one right here, and I'm just going to take that one by itself now, tap off the excess, and just blend that in, just to kind of darken it up a little bit, and I'm going to take the blending brush that I used that soft brown color, and I'm going to take a little bit more of that soft brown. And I'm just going to blend out the edges, just so it's not so harsh, so you can see. And I'm just kind of going to blend it this up a little bit higher, just so that here. So when I do the highlight color, it blends down and it becomes all even. So I'm going to also mix those two colors together and start putting that on the lower lash line and finish up on the last third. Sorry about my mirror. I'm still trying to figure out where I put my mirror right now. I haven't quite figured that out yet. And I'm in the, on that same contour brush, I'm going to take a more of a purple color. It's this one right here. And it just gives it a little extra something. You can leave it like this and it's like you're ready to go. But I just want to give it just a little bit more of a plum. A little bit more sparkle and whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to. Oh my god, you probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm like just putting color on, and I'm not even in frame, probably. So just make sure the angles are the same on both eyes. And. And I'm actually going to take that smudge brush again and go in with that purple that we just put up on the lid and put it right over the outer third. Okay. Just taking the blending brush a little bit. I'm going to take this big, flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to get kind of a natural color. And you see I've used it a lot. Oh, that's good. And <laughs> I'm just going to put this, concentrate it more under the brow. Right here. And then whatever's left, usually... Not good to highlight too much here, just kind of spread that so you, you have a little bit, but not too much. Most of the color is going to be like right here. And now, and now that you have that done, put these all away so I don't mess these up. Whenever I'm doing like stuff, I'll, whatever I'm not done using, I'll put away. Just I don't have a cluttered mess, and I can't, you know, then it prevents me from losing things and then being all scattered around while I'm trying to do a video for you guys. So, on a skinny little eye, I was going to say eyebrow brush. This is not an eyebrow brush. It's eyeliner brush. I'm taking my hip gel liner in black, and I'm going to line my eyes. Um, yeah. This, I usually eat, as you can see, I did a wing here. It's like really hard sometimes to get this even, so this may take me a while, but I'm just going to, I've gotten a lot faster at this from my previous videos. Um, you know, you get, you get used to doing it. 
I know in my like my first couple videos that I did, um, I was kind of slow with the eyeliner. It's just because I wanted to get it perfect for you guys. So that you note know, looks even. Although now I've realized that you can't get everything perfect every single time. As close as possible is the best deal for everything. And then you can get a little bit more on the brush. And I'm going to just angle it up from my wing. I'm just checking to make sure they're semi even. Sometimes with this brush and like the wings get all jacked up. making it even. There we go. And I'm going to take some more. So this look is really simple. Um, I would wear this on a regular basis. Just because when I'm not filming this look, I could do it pretty fast. So... Just wipe off this brush. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Collagen in Black to do my mascara. I'm going to kind of close my eye because whenever I do the mascara, it looks kind of funny when I pull up on my on my lashes and it, I hate the way it looks so I'm just going to try and do it this way I don't um I had a lash curler but I don't know how I did it but I broke it <laughs> so I'm doing it oops you don't want to do that I'm doing it the ghetto fat version <laughs> of curling your lashes and I'm just taking it Oops, this smudge brush here, and as you can see, I've used it. And I'm just kind of pulling up the lashes, and it actually works pretty well. But until I get a new lash curler, this is what I'm going to do. And it's been working. Actually, I have a heated lash curler, but it takes too long to, to heat it up. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to do um, pictures, and I'm going to put it down in my blog. Um, so you guys can see pictures and um, I'll list some stuff that I use and where to get them if anything. Um, maybe, I don't know, there's just drugstore or Ulta. <clears throat> and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to be putting some more videos up for you guys. Um, the next look I'm going to be doing, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'm going to be using these colors. So, fun! Uh, <laughs> So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch for more. Bye, you guys.